Hey guys, in this video, I'll tell you exactly how to upload your meta description to WordPress using my automation for ChatGPT. So in this make.com animation, we're going from a Google sheet that creates an input for OpenAI to create content, then adds an image and then uploads everything into WordPress. The focus of this video will be to add a meta description to the WordPress upload. So I had this question on my channel a couple weeks back, um, actually a month back, where um, Tariq um, asked me, hi, do you know how to add meta tags? I tried everything, but nothing works. So I took this as a challenge and I got straight into it. The thing is that there's, if you're using uh, rank math, which is the big if, uh, I haven't tested it with any other plugins. If you go to the back end of your WordPress website and you go to the make.com plugin, then you can go to the custom API fields and you see all these additional fields that you can add to your um, API call from inside make. Um, and I'm using the rank math description, so I need to copy paste this specific field. Make sure that it's checked and you save the settings. Then if you go into ChatGPT and you look at your WordPress connection, you'll need to scroll down a bit and open up the advanced settings. So it's a bit hidden. And I had to test this out whether it's an additional field or a metadata field. Yeah, you need to create a new metadata. So you need an add an item. The name will be rank math description and the value will be, will be whatever you want to input as a description. So we can just use test value here for now. Um, I'll just run this once. And we're back, it's done. The um, entire sequence has run. It's the fuel behind high performers, 10 power foods. So if you go to my website and visit my blog, this is the post. And if we go to edit post and look at the meta description from rank math, which is located right here, it says test value. There we go. That's how you edit your meta descriptions using the automation, uh, using the custom API fields. That's it. The test value is there. If you have any other questions or issues, I'll try to look into them. Let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.